Todd Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you. A huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points. Stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves and maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. Two minutes remain in a scoreless first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. Prescott now on second down. To the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. And oh, so close as he takes it all the way to the two-yard line. A big play here for the Cowboys. 49 yards. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. just a short pickup. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. And One of my favorite coaches, you say, son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, <laughs> give me my best power running play with my best back right now. On the sneak, it's Prescott. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the sneak. Kind of a wasted play there, and now it's third down. And the question now, can the Patriot defense hold firm again on third and goal? Hey, we're going right there. We're going right there. There we go. Right, hey. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Ezekiel Elliott taking it in. And the Cowboys are in for six. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. Fielded about a yard deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Now Brady, escaping the pressure right. Going deep here for Adelman. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. He was looking for Edelman there, and now it's third down. Let's go, let's they go. head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Shotgun now for Brady. Going up top. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. On fourth down on now is the lefty Ryan Allen to punt. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. 
And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And you got to think, if this is anything other than just taking a knee, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, they've got enough to talk about at the half. Why do anything else? Let's get out of there. They start on the ground with Elliott. And they're able to get this one across the 35. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. They start the second half with Michelle on the ground. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Brady now on first down to Michelle on the dump off. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. I'm guessing, partner, that if we're in the huddle with the Patriots right now, there's not a single guy that thinks they have any chance of coming back in this one, especially not with Tom Brady. Yeah, now. who's Tom Brady? What's he done in the past as far as comebacks are concerned? Yeah, down right now, but that can evaporate quickly with him in the huddle. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. At halftime, you had to feel like the defense had to be in a good position. They had to feel good about themselves. They'd had this guy boxed in all game long, but after that run, that might be the breakthrough that he's looking for. Now they may have some difficulty dealing with him the rest of today. Keeping it on the ground on first, Michelle. Even with the good move he showed, he'll be brought down short of the 15. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. They'll run it here. This is James White, and he'll take this one down near the 15. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. Let's go! And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Hey, Alabama, Alabama. Wait, set. Wait, 20. Hey, check, check. Three out, three out. Go. From the gun, it's Brady. Coming in to drop him for a loss of eight, and it'll be fourth down. So now on fourth down, on comes Steven Goskowski to try and get the patch three. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. And Goskowski's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So they do get three points, but that's now three drives with only the three points, not a ratio that's going to win you many ball games. Not at all, Brandon. And think about it this way. We all know payoff is the key, right? And wouldn't we love to have the concession on every T-shirt that's been printed in football that says finish on it? Because that's the mantra everywhere. Got to be able to finish drives, put points on the board. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half.
So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. Now Prescott, a dump off to Elliott. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that'll make it a second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They've become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 12 yards there as they move the chains. All right, it's football 101 to know that the quarterback controls just about everything on offense, but a lot of times what gets missed is that the center controls line play. He has to communicate to the guards and the tackles what type of front they're facing, how they're going to block it, and what adjustments need to be made sometimes on the fly as a defense will shift. Give the center a lot of credit because for the most part, he's got big defensive linemen over his face all game long. That he's got to try and block and protect his quarterback and create space for his runner. In this case, he did a really nice job of communicating and executing. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back now in Arlington. It's the Cowboys with the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. to analyze what we saw out there and on that play I saw a defense staying in base not taking a chance not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back that's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through if you do blitz do you have to be careful about where you're coming from or are you just coming from all angles you have to be careful about where you're coming from you obviously but at this stage you have to take a few chances as well this is Hallier for 22 and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll run with Elliott. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. Point after, right down the middle. And that pushes the lead up to 11. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. And now out come the Patriots. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. By 20! By 20! They go play action here on first down. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. Fair to say hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better. 
Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Brady will try again on second down. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Cordero Patterson, the one he was hoping to get it to. And it'll bring up third down. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And the Cowboys pressure gets there this time for the sack. Randy Gregory with a big time sack on third down. And it'll be a loss of seven. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Wait, 20. Wait, 20. Now Brady got to have this one. And he's going to go down again. Demarcus Lawrence in there to sack him for a loss of six. So still over three minutes remaining in this game. But boy, not getting that one that hurt. That's a little bit demoralizing. So they have to be careful about that because still have an opportunity if they can get some things done on defense. But now, since they've taken over on downs, a team with the ball, guess what? Going to four-minute offense, maybe they can put this thing away. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, a 15.